morning. I'm here with Miss Star. Here she is. Morning. How's everybody? How are you? How are you, Miss Joy? I'm doing good. Doing I'm good. Got our coffee this morning because we're pretty early. We're doing this early. Happy coffee day. Mm. Mm. Thank you. You are welcome, Miss Joy. You are welcome. So last week we we talked. We had our. Uh, um, instructions you know like following God's God's instructions and and following his word and last week what did I say we were gonna talk about this week you said we we're gonna talk about a toolbox a toolbox so there we go there's our toolbox there it is there we go so we are going to open up the toolbox and we're gonna look at the tools that are in there cool and you guys probably have a pretty good idea of what's in the toolbox but We'll, um, we're going to see what's in here. So before we open it, we have a verse um, that we're going to read. And it, it, talk, it kind of helps us know what the lesson's going to be about. Okay. And it's 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 7. Okay. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working but the same God works in all of them, in all men or people. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's get. Uh, let's open our toolbox, Miss Joy. See what's in there before we. Can do I it. Uh, get some of the tools out? Yeah, you can get the tools oh, out. Thanks. But we're gonna put our work hats on. Oh yeah. Cause you know we gotta be ready. I'm gonna put mine on a, like a little jaunty angle because I kind of like to do that. <laughs> all right. Just put a little off it, yeah. All right, Miss Joy, open it up and, and, and let's start looking at these tools and see what we've got in there. I'm excited to see what you have in your toolbox because it was a little heavy. It's a little heavy. It's got some stuff let's in there. Right. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Nice pair of pliers. Nice pair of pliers. Pliers, sometimes you got to pull nails out of the wall and stuff like that. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Another screwdriver. Right, but it's a different kind of screwdriver. Oh, okay. See, each of these tools does a different thing. Oh, so oh, okay. they have a different job to do. Oh, there's another pair of pliers. Another pair of pliers, but they're all in the toolbox. They, but they have different things. Ooh, here's a wrench. A wrench. A wrench. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, you always need a tape measure. You need a tape measure. You got to measure things. Make sure that you know you cut. You know, what's there's a saying that says, uh, "Measure twice, cut once." So that you don't mess up oh, when wow. you're cutting. Is your chair wobbly? It, it is a little wobbly. Ah, oh. oh, there's a nail fell out of it. Yeah. That's why. Can I fix it really quick? Yeah, go ahead, fix it. I oh. got tools in here. Help yourself, Miss Joy. Let's get a tool out. Ah, oh, here we go. No, this... wait, 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 wait. No, no, Miss Joy, what? hold that up. That's a whisk. You don't use that to put a nail in. Oh, it wouldn't work? No, no, the whisk, a whisk is what you use like when you're mixing up um, cake mix or brownie mix or you're making some oh, whipped cream. Okay. So that's a tool, but it's it's not for, for putting yeah. a nail in. Let me see no. if I can find something that will work. Then. Yeah, there's other tools in there. I'm sure there's mm. something in there that will work for that. Oh. Ah. Doesn't work. Paintbrush. <sighs> Miss Joy. What? That's a paintbrush. You use that to paint, like that's a small one, so you could paint a picture or a small piece of uh, furniture, but you know, you can paint walls and th it's a tool, okay. but it's, it's not what you use for the, f to put the so nail in. So you don't in. like brush stuff with it? Yeah. Uh -huh. let, yeah. Me, let me fix your makeup. Now that, it's not, a, it's not a makeup brush. I have uh, other brushes for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's sorry. for painting other right, stuff. let me see. Not my face. <laughs> Oh, I found it. <gasps> Yay, my pink hammer. Yeah, you found it. Can yep. I fix it? You should sure can. You go right ahead. You go right ahead. See? So the hammer is a tool. And that's, oh. that we use to, to fix things like put nails in the wall and stuff like that. That's much better. I think we have a couple more things in there. Oh, oh look, Miss Joy, here. Uh, why is that in your toolbox? It's a needle and thread. It, it, it's a tool. It, it probably you didn't expect to see it in the in my toolbox. No. But we need this because when maybe we need to mend our clothes. A lot of people have been sewing masks lately um, for for us, and so they're using a needle and thread 
for that job. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Oh, look. We have a spoon. Oh, yeah. A spoon. You use that to mix things yeah. up. You when you're making something. And, oh, look, Miss Joy. Here's some pencils. Colored pencils. Oh, fun. There's different colors. Um, those are good for drawing pictures and things like that. And, um, oh, do you know what this is, Miss Joy? Uh, no, what is that? <laughs> this is a harmonica. Ooh. It's a musical instrument. Can you play a little tune for me? I might. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that was really yeah. good. Thanks. Maybe you can play a song for us when we get back to church. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Oh, Hang on. Right. I just kind of made that up. Oh, you have a talent, the hidden one. Yeah, well, you know. Now, this way I'm going to ask you something. Okay. We're going through these tools in this toolbox, and you guys, I'm going to ask you too. Some of these tools that we brought out of my toolbox, did you think you were going to see in the toolbox? Some I thought we would, and the others I never thought would be in your toolbox. So there were some different tools in this toolbox, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? What? All of those tools have a job. They're all needed. They all do awesome things. And when we need them, they're useful. Well, you know what? They all came out of this toolbox, right? Right. Well, you know what? Here's something interesting. We can be part of God's toolbox. Okay? Really? We can, yeah. But kids, grown-ups, Anybody, wow. we have something that we can do for Jesus, something we can serve. We might have a talent or an ability, or we might be able to give us do a service. Um, just like all these tools, even though you thought, hmm, that really shouldn't be in Miss Star's toolbox. It's still important. We still need it for things, right? That's true. We do. And we have, you know, um, oh, I forgot this one. What is it? It's a baseball mitt. Wow. Because some people have talents with sports. Oh, that's you know? true. And, 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 and God gives us all different talents, not just, you know, musical or, or drawing or painting. You have, you got, God might have given you the gift of, of being a, a really good athlete, you know? And, and all these things are important, and they're good tools. Now, we have a tool that all of us need. We all need this tool. It's really important. Oh, I know what it is. What? A hairbrush. No, no. no. Some people don't need a hairbrush. No, I'll say why. <laughs> <laughs> but we all need this tool. This is the best tool. This is the greatest tool. This is God's Word. Yes. The Bible. And it's the best tool because why? We go, we can find anything we need to help us. Anything? Anything. Wow. Anything, any questions, anything at all, we can find in the best tool, God's Word. And anybody can use God's Word. Everybody can read God's Word. Everybody. And we all, like I said, this toolbox had different tools. We all have different talents and abilities. And we are in God's toolbox. We can serve Him with whatever we have. What if I can't read? If you can't read, someone can read to you. Oh, that's true. Like, I guess if a, a kid can't read, mm -hmm. you can ask your mom and dad. You can to ask read your it mom too. and dad to read the Bible to you, right. read you a Bible story. There's all kinds of amazing stories in the Bible that teach us th different things. And also, lots of different people in the Bible that had different gifts and things that they did. Just like we all have different gifts. Um, when we go to church, and we go upstairs or we go downstairs to our class, we expect to see, once, who's one person we expect to see at church? Oh, oh, I know. Pastor Mike. Pastor Mike. Because Pastor Mike gives us the message each week. And he's there to greet us and talk to us. Um, also, we might see, expect to see our Sunday school teachers. Our Sunday school okay. teachers, they teach us. Um, who do we see up there at the piano making that beautiful music? Oh, Miss Diana. Miss Diana. 
right? So see, Miss Diana uses her talent and her ability mm -hmm. to, to play music. Also, our praise leaders, our music leaders, they get up there and they're playing the guitar and, and the keyboard. Oh, you mean like Mr. Glenn? Right, like oh, Mr. Glenn okay. and, and his, family. his family. They yeah. all, they're all up there and, and we have other people that do that also now that are up there singing and leading us and um, that's, their, that's their ability or their gift. They're using them. So we kind of expect to see them yeah. Yeah. there. But you know, there's lots of stuff that goes on, um, other things that are needed. And um, we have people um, that do that. And some of them are like, I don't know if you've ever looked, uh, noticed, we have really beautiful flower beds at our church. They're so pretty. They have, they have um, there's no weeds in them and they have mulch and the flowers bloom. Miss Helen takes care of those. Miss Helen does Ms. that? Miss Helen does that. That wow. is her gift. You might not see her do it, but when you walk into church, you're like, wow, this is so pretty. Miss mm -hmm. Helen does that. That's her gift. Um, also, um, I don't know if you've ever been a little bit hungry at church or you just want a little snack, mm -hmm. but if you go in the kitchen, there's usually some kind of snack that you can, that you can have. Yeah, sometimes. Can I tell you a little secret? Why? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Our my Sunday school class, our kids, we'll sneak into the kitchen and up in that cabinet or we'll get some snacks. Yeah. Out. Have you guys ever done that? Because I have done that. I'm, mm -hmm. I've taken my kids in there. Now. But there's like goldfish and fruit snacks and sometimes and all, all kinds of stuff. But somebody has to be the person to have, get all that, to bring all that to church. Oh, Pastor Mike knows that. No, Pastor. Well, um, he might do that, some of that. But the person we always ask is Miss Robin. <gasps> Wow, Miss Robin yeah. does that. Yeah, so she, you, that. you might not see Miss Robin do that, but she's serving. Mm -hmm. That's what she does. She's serving by, by making sure that, that our church has the things that we need um, for everyday things, like not just snacks, but paper towels and oh, plates yeah. and cleaning stuff, all kinds of stuff. Um, she does a lot of other stuff, too. That's just something I remember. Also, um, I don't know but if you noticed, but our, our grass is always mown. It looks really nice. Um, it's cleaned off of all the, the driveway and the walkway. Mr. Mike does that. That's what he does. That's his service um, for, for God. Also, our church looks real nice inside. It's painted nicely and, and it has nice decorations. And yeah. um, it's, we have, you know, they, we've had people that have worked real hard to organize some areas of our church. And right. Miss Wendy and Miss Julie are two of the leaders in that area. And they do a great job they for us doing that. And um, these are just some people. There's people that do all kinds of things at our church. Now, I have no idea that they do. We have um, Mr. Tommy that is fixing things in our church and doing other things. He's done some great stuff on the um, the Smidek building and oh, yeah. just a lot of things uh, around the church. He's always there doing. Um, and also... If you come to Awana, we have an Awana store. Well, somebody has to get all that stuff, and they have to organize all that stuff. And they... You mean all those cool, like, toys All those and toys and all that wow. neat stuff and snacks and candies and stuff. Well, Miss Terry does that. She makes sure that she's always out on the lookout to have cool stuff and neat stuff in the Awana store. That's her service. That's not all she does. She does a lot of other stuff. But I guess, Miss Joy, what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to preach. You don't have to teach Sunday school to serve God. You can just, any gift that God's given you, any ability, any way you can serve, um, that's what God wants you to do. Yeah. You know? And I hope that you realize that, that you are really special. Um, that you have some kind of way you can serve God and it doesn't have to be maybe the way you you think just anything so you I could make a card have, you could make a card you oh. could make a card with your colored pencils with the colored pencils there you go that's an idea um, you could you you could uh, you know what I love hearing you guys sing I really love hearing you sing so if you want to do a video and send it to Valley Kids 
at fbcgv.com. I'd love to watch it. I'll send it to the uh, te other teachers and leaders, Pastor Mike, you know, and maybe your parents, you know, they, they might not care if we share it further, but we'll ask first. I'd love to see that. That'd be uh, fun. I'd love to hear from you. Um, we miss you guys. We miss seeing you every Sunday. Mm -hmm. so, um, now, I don't know what we're going to do next week because... Miss Joy, she's gonna figure. She's gonna plan the lesson for next week. Oh yeah. Um, it's gonna be and again, a surprise though. You know, our verse came from First Corinthians, chapter twelve, verses four through seven. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit, Spirit. which is God. Mm -hmm. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. Right. And there are different kinds of working. But the same God works all of them in all men. So we do lots of different jobs, lots of different things, but they're all for God. So I hope you remember um, that whatever you do, it can be to God's service, to serve Him. All right? So until next week. All right. We'll see you guys. We'll see you. Love you. We're Love praying you. for you. Have a good week. Bye.